Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 walk. Sorry, a little technical difficulty there. It's a little windy up here. Our daily COVID-19 update. Welcome, uh, bienvenido a nuestro update de cada día de coronavirus aquí en nuestra comunidad. Give me a second. I'm going to see if we can get behind this wall. Sorry about that. We have a little technical difficulty. There's a there was a bit of a, a wind gust there. Bienvenido recién aquí en nuestra comunidad a nuestro eh, update de cada día de coronavirus aquí en uh, en Miami Lakes. Eh, Talk con nuestro administrador. I know that we're getting the rules very soon uh, to reopen our economy here in our community. Eh, Mr. Manager, you want to give the update of the day before we get in, into that uh, into the economy? Yeah, uh, the number today, believe it or not, is again 45. So that's the fifth, five, fifth straight day that we have no new cases. We have 18 days, so two and a half, almost three weeks that we've only had two cases, which is again, seems to be the new trend, right? Only maybe one a week at most, which is great news. And el número de caso confirmado positivo hoy eh, viene siendo 45 otra vez. Eh, 45 casos ya lleva 5 días con el mismo número solamente ha habido un aumento de 2 casos en los últimos 18 días eh, que buena noticia para todos nosotros so thank you Miami Lakers you heard it uh, the cases here in our community have stabilized which is great 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 news and our economy is now uh, we're working towards reopening it on Monday uh, we should be getting those uh, those guidelines uh, either later today or we'll be getting it uh, early tomorrow morning. Uh, but once we get it, we'll be going doing a, a Facebook Live round table to, uh, to make sure that we get that information out to you guys and we answer any questions that the business owners and the consumers here in our community have uh, in regards to that. But uh, if there's any questions, I don't see any. I know we're going to be... Yeah, sorry about that. It was breaking up a little bit ago. Yeah, yeah, I see Maria telling me that there was a bit of a win. Anything else, Mr. Mayor? Yeah, no, I just wanted to go a, a little bit on what you were saying there, is that Miami-Dade County, today there's going to be a big meeting later around 5.30, 6 o'clock, uh, and hopefully at some point, maybe later tonight or tomorrow, all the cities will get the information from the county about what they plan to reopen. Almost every business in Miami, uh, Miami Lakes uh, will be able to reopen. The ones that probably won't reopen are the is the theater and uh, any gyms. The gyms are probably not going to be included in the first round of uh, business reopenings. Uh, condominium pools probably will not be open in the first round, but we believe that there's going to be uh, a second round shortly thereafter. But the majority of the businesses, right, this next round of uh, normalization is going to really focus on getting as many businesses reopened as possible and there's going to be some limits some restrictions but that's okay at least the doors will be unlocked on our businesses and they'll be able to start doing business once again thank you mr. manager uh, so real quick before we get to the questions the manager and I try to do something every day we try to go live from a different location and showcase something different in our community I mean you saw yesterday uh, we the butterfly garden before but yesterday we showcased uh what was our uh northwest 60th ave a uh, dual use path i just want to show you something we, we came up here one of the new buildings uh right here on uh i'll be right back mr manager right here on main street and look i just wanted to show we wanted to show you guys the view from up here as you could see we're in the middle of main street and I don't know if you guys see that over there. Downtown Miami. You can see Martin Stadium. You can see all, all, all of downtown Miami. Martin Stadium. You see Doral over there. And you can see Main Street right over here. So yeah, pretty cool that you could see uh, all these views from downtown Miami Lakes. So we're going to be answering your questions. Uh, right now all 
All right, so our first uh, our first question today: uh, Will the city uh, from Gregory Harris? Will the city or the county continue to spray uh, for mosquitoes? Will the city or the county spray for mosquitoes? Yeah, the mosquito control here in Dade County is done by Miami Dade County. So if you have an area that you've noticed uh, a lot of mosquitoes, you can call three one one for Miami Dade County, identify the area. And, uh, and they'll come and they'll target that area for mosquito spraying. The most important thing for mosquitoes, as most of you know, is make sure there's no standing water. Obviously, we had a full day of rain on Sunday, so take a look around your yard, your neighborhood. If there's areas that is accumulating a lot of standing water, make sure you dump that because that's an incredible breeding ground for mosquitoes. So uh, if you have an area that you, that's of concern, Call 311 and then they'll send uh, the, the spray units out there to take care of it for you. Alice Cruz Acebo wants to know, Mr. Manager, how's the, uh, how will the antibody testing uh, this Thursday, how will that go? What's the process? What's going to happen this Thursday? Miami Lakers, just to reiterate, this Thursday we will be doing free antibody testing as part of our uh, blood drive with our partners, Mr. Manager? Yeah, we've had a great partnership. We had an incredible blood drive last uh, Thursday at uh, Miami Lakes Town Hall in the parking lot. The buses were out there. Uh, they had a great response. They're gonna do it again this Thursday, but this Thursday they're gonna do it in addition to the donation of blood. When you donate blood, you'll be able to get uh, your blood tested for the COVID-19 antibodies. And that'll be, uh, I think they're even gonna do, if you want, they're, they're gonna give you information uh, on cholesterol and other things. So it's a great uh, opportunity for those of you who uh, wanna get your blood tested for the uh, uh, anti antibodies for coronavirus, you'd be able to go out there, donate a pint of blood, and you get the uh, the full workup and the, and the testing. Mr. Manager, Gregory Harrison is, uh, is talking about the West Nile virus. I don't know if you've seen some reports about that. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I, I don't think that it's anything that we need to worry about at this time. I believe that all I've heard of is that there was one case of West Nile virus. Uh, I, I believe, I'm no uh, epidemiologist, I'm not an expert, but I believe that that's a mosquito-borne uh, or transmitter. Uh, so, obviously, uh, we're going to keep an eye on it but I don't believe it's any uh, cause for concern at this point. Thank you, Gregory. Alice Cruz Acebo, yeah, Menchie's open up tomorrow. Shout out to Menchie's. It's always exciting to see our businesses reopen, do takeout, and then hopefully uh, reopen with some indoor seating area on, uh, on Monday. So it's great, great news that we keep seeing more and more uh, businesses open up. Uh, Lynn Matos, what are the numbers looking like in our community? She missed the numbers earlier. Yeah, Lynn, we talked about it early on when we first uh, started this briefing. The number, once again, is 45. We've had the same number for five days, so that's great news. We've had no new cases in almost a week, and we've only had two cases in the last uh, two and a half weeks. So th that's great news. It's our new normal, right? We, we had a rash there uh, about two to three, four weeks ago that we were getting one to two a day. Then we hit a plateau and now our, nor our new normal, hopefully this is the end and we don't get any more. But our new average is maybe, maybe one a week and that's great news. It's a complete flattening of the curve, which is great news to all of our residents. Maribel Alexis Palma wants to know, when are, when are you saying we may be reopening? Uh, Maribel, and that is Monday the 18th. Uh, it looks like the county will be releasing uh, their part of their order that had stopped us from having the ability to, to open up so and they're gonna be releasing some of those rules mr. manager I know he touched upon that there will be some businesses that unfortunately uh, won't be reopening but it looks like a majority of our businesses in our community will be yeah the two that I know for sure uh, are probably the theater will not be reopening with this first round this first phase and gymnasiums gyms they will not reopen in the first phase but almost every other business that we have in the town of Miami Lakes will have the opportunity to reopen their doors starting Monday uh, the 18th. That's all the information we've been getting from the county is that that's gonna be the effective date. In fact, we were on a conference call uh, earlier this afternoon with other city managers and the mayor of Dade County wanted to give businesses as much opportunity as possible to get ready for it. Our, uh, our feedback to the county mayor was 
our businesses are starving to get open. So don't worry. If you give them two days, they'll be ready. Just make sure you stick to that Monday, May the 18th date, and our businesses will do it. They've been getting ready already. They have, they've had six, seven, eight weeks to get ready, and they're desperate. They want to get reopened, so they're, they're ready to go, and they'll do it the right way. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Claudia Lucis wants to know, of the 45, do we know how many have recovered? No, the uh, I mean, we've gone we've we've spoken about this in the past. the The information that we get from the state of Florida is very limited. There's a lot of privacy protections that's afforded the patients that uh, that unfortunately are afflicted by this uh, virus. But what we get is just the number. We don't know if they were young or old, male or female, if they were severe cases, if they were uh, very mild cases. All we know is that we've had 45 Miami Lakes residents that have tested positive for coronavirus, and that's all the information we get from the state of Florida because of those uh, privacy protections. Alice uh, Cruz has said, well, yes, uh, I mean, no, you do not need an appointment for Thursday's uh, antibody test. Uh, I know you will need to, to get the antibody test, you will need to donate blood, correct, Mr. Yes, Manager? Yes, but you do not need an appointment. Just show up. Ray Lee... The Avora, apartment building pools, common area pools. Yeah, those are not going to be reopened in this first phase. Uh, so they're not going to be reopened. I don't expect that it'll be much longer for those uh, condominium and community pools. Those will probably be in the next uh, week or two. But this first round on May the 18th will not include the condominium pools. Él es así, definitivamente vamos a hablar español, eh, ya estamos trabajando para el 18 para reabrir la economía de nuestra comunidad, ya el alcalde de condado los va a dejar la oportunidad de reabrir este lunes, ya las regulaciones van a estar saliendo, ojalá en un ratico, un poquito o, o mañana por la mañana, pero ya aparece y la otra cosa también, este jueves vamos a tener el examen gratis de, de la inmunidad para ver si las personas ya tienen la inmunidad, el antibody, como se dice, para el coronavirus pero tiene que dar, eh, donar sangre y eso va a pasar en el Parque Royal Oaks eh, de las 9 de la mañana hasta las 5 de la tarde. Anything else in Spanish that you wanted to mention, Mr. Manager? No, solo que nosotros estamos esperando que el condado nos dé eh, el aviso oficial de la reapertura de nuestro negocio. Casi, casi, casi todos los negocios en Mami Lakes van a poder abrir este lunes eh, entrante el día 18 de mayo. Van a haber restricciones. Algunos negocios no van a poder abrir como el cine, el teatro y también los gimnasios. Eso yo sé, no van a estar incluidos en la primera fase de la reapertura. Pero la mayor, todos los otros negocios eh, sí van a poder abrir. Claro, van a haber restricciones y van a haber me medidas para proteger a toda la gente que tenga adentro. Pero sí van a poder abrir, incluyendo los restaurantes que se van a poder eh, con límite, pero la gente van a poder ir a un restaurante y sentarse una mesa y poder comer. Eh, Marta Barrera González, no, you do not need a, uh, an appointment for Thursday's uh, blood drive while we'll, we'll be doing the antibody test. Para el jueves no van a necesitar eh, hacer una cita para llegar a la, para donar sangre y para coger la, el, el examen de la inmunidad del coronavirus. Eh, Eva Fernández, what time is the testing? Uh, or the testings here in our community. So uh, the, on Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you don't need an appointment, just drive up to Royal Oaks Park, um, which is very, very important to reopening our economy. The, the more data that, that, that our healthcare professionals have in terms of you know who has the immunity, meaning I, I saw something today that you know some folks felt that the coronavirus was here uh, a couple months before it really started spiking because people had already had the uh, the antibody or whatnot. They're really trying to taste, uh, you know, uh, trace it. But it's very important that the more data that that our healthcare professionals have, that the epidemiologists have, the better it is in the long term as they keep studying and hopefully find a cure and and uh, and, a, and a way of vaccine to really stop the, the coronavirus uh, for good. Karen uh, Wolski, it's 45. Our cases are 45. 45. Right? 45 it stayed flat uh for a while testing for the last five days and, no that, new cases. and testing has gone up if you look at the stats that are given out by by the state uh testing in miami-dade county not the entire state but testing in miami-dade county uh per thousand resident residents here in our community has gone up as much uh, as high as uh comparable to 
the vast majority of countries uh, actually on par with uh, with Italy so it's so important but yeah testing has gone up but the good part is while testing has gone up in in, uh, in South Florida and Miami-Dade County our numbers continue to stay flat yes. uh, which is very important and then Thursday is another good step as many residents that we can get out to Royal Oaks Park from 9 a.m. to 5 obviously to donate blood but to get the antibody test you know I think that's phenomenal the, the majority of the folks that we can get out to get that data out to the scientists or epidemiologists is so so important uh, Mr. Manager there's no other questions any closing remarks that you may have no I just want to uh, tell the business owners especially and uh, people uh, Miami Lakes residents who work in all of the businesses that are closed is that I believe that the light at the end of the tunnel is near right so I believe that we're on the verge of an important step the reopening of a, such a large part of our economy it's going to happen uh, early next week and that's great news le quería avisar que todo el mundo lo negociante de negocio pequeño o al marcha más tarde pero yo creo que va a ser el lunes eso es lo que ha estado diciendo el alcalde del condado y yo creo que todos esos detalles antes de, de media semana o del fin de semana se van a poder eh, distribuir a todos los residentes para que sepan exactamente qué negocios y cómo y, y todos los detalles Keep, uh, keep the faith, Miami Lakers. We're, we're getting there. We flattened the curve. Now the reopening is starting to happen. Uh, thank you guys again for all the sacrifices you make. Muchas gracias por todos los sacrificios que han, han tenido en nuestra comunidad. Porque eso, ¿por qué hemos llegado a este punto que estamos reabriendo nuestra economía? Thank you guys again. Reach out to us. Reach out to me, the manager, the entire town council, uh, all of our volunteers. We're here to help. You know, let us know. We'll be back live tomorrow. And there are a couple things ongoing. Obviously, we know Thursday from 9 to 5 is the blood drive. We'll, we'll be doing the COVID-19 test. But also, Monday through Friday at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church, uh, they're, they're giving out food for enough for 500 to 700 families from 10 a.m. to noon. And then we have different programs ongoing. We have the, the well, what day of the week is, uh, is the distribution this week in the town? For the... Uh... The, the, food. the food distribution. Yes. I believe they're they're working out the final details now, but we believe it'll probably be Friday. So stay tuned. Be alert to social media. The moment we have the exact the, all the details, including the exact date, we'll be sure to put it here on our, all of our social media platforms. Thanks for logging in. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Reach out to us, and together we will get through this. God bless you, Miami Lakers.